This part is going to be about the boolean modifier. And the boolean modifier has been greatly increased. It's now a lot faster and it's also a lot more precise. And if you have a look at Suzanne here, I have changed her to be a closed mesh because without the closed mesh, the boolean modifier might give you unexpected results. So it's just a good idea to keep everything closed. Now, if I were to uh, insert a boolean modifier on Suzanne, I'd have to choose an object to intersect with. And this is what the boolean modifier does. It intersects options, objects and checks what they have in common. Now the most common method would be intersect and right now we're not seeing the monkey anymore because it's not intersecting with a plane. But if I move this over here and uh, go into wireframe mode, you can see the monkey reappearing. So this is sort of a wipe effect that you can have with this monkey. And let's see about the two other options. The other, the first other option is union. And if I now go ahead and hide the cube, you can see that it's still visible. And that is because the boolean modifier is taking this object and makes it and adds it to the monkey. So if I go into edit mode, you can see it's gone. And um, the cube is now part of the monkey mesh, or at least of the modified monkey mesh. And there's a third one that's difference. And this is basically the exact opposite of union. Blender will cut out everything they have in common. Now let's have a look at an effect you can achieve with this. I'm going to go back to intersect. And I have put some keyframes onto the cube. So if you have a look here, you can see the cube is just going from top, bottom to top. If I hide this again, you can see that the cube is sort of performing a scan through the monkey. So this is a very cool option that you can animate. You can use it for a lot of things, not just to scan if Suzanne has a brain or not. Let me just show you one last option. I here have a cube that's already got a modifier difference to this sphere. <laughs> and if I move the sphere over here and hide it, you can see that it's carving out of the cube. So you can basically use the Boolean modifier for modeling as well. And of course, the Boolean modifier will be even more exciting once we have B-Mesh. Because if I click apply now, you can see that this is very irregular, but with the, the new B mesh, you could just take this entire face, press X and dissolve and make an N gun out of that. And that would clean up your mesh a lot. So Boolean modifier is already working much faster, much more precise, but it's still waiting for the B mesh, which will be available in 2.63.